Hey guys, today I'm gonna be testing the Daniel Medvedev racket, the T-Fight ISO 305, and I'm gonna be comparing it to my old TF40. So these rackets, they, on paper, they have a lot of the same specs, but they actually feel really different. And I've already played a couple of sets with this, so I already have a lot of thoughts, but I'm gonna have Ian uh, feed me forehands, backhands, volleys, just all types of shots so you guys can see it in action and then I'll share my thoughts on the racket. Alright, so I'm gonna do some talking during the strokes and during when I'm hitting so you guys can kind of know exactly what I was feeling while I was hitting in addition to the stuff I'm gonna say in the video. Um, during my ground strokes I felt okay right now, um, you're going to hear me say this later, it's because these fed balls are kind of in my strike zone and at a decent pace. Balls that were heavier or balls that made me stretch and I had to be earlier and get the racket through, I really had trouble with during matches. But um, these shots, even when I was moving, it felt okay because I was able to keep my swing stable and I was always able to prepare with plenty of time and chance for my weight. Even these ones, he's feeding a little bit heavier. I was okay with. Just during the match, especially when I was slightly tighter, I couldn't really trust myself to keep the ball in. I was hitting the ball long a lot because the racket would carry through the ball a lot more than I was expecting when I wasn't late. So especially when I try to whip the ball in off of low balls, I was having a lot of trouble. Now for the specs of these rackets, um, I have them later on in the video, so if you guys are waiting for that, um, you guys can skip ahead. I just thought that it was a really good idea for me to include all these clips of me hitting, so you can kind of see my stroke and me using the racket and it might help you decide whether you know, it's the right racket right, for you as well. So, my feeling is, okay, I'm hitting decent with it, but I think it's just because I'm um, getting fed balls and I have time. When I hit with, against heavier shots, I tend to be super late because the swing weight on this is really high. But also, I've been a lot fitter lately, so like I'm actually able to hit. But I'm gonna use my other racket and we're gonna see what's going on. This definitely fits a certain stroke better. I don't have the fitness to control the head of this racket. I don't have like the tennis fitness. The second I get tired, like the point is over <laughs> for me with this. Like I can't hit a, a ball in. I go from hitting most shots into like everything out. So, so I think it's, I don't know. It's just hard to control, especially at high racket head speeds. Um, when the ball is coming hard at you, heavy at you, or when, when you're not exactly in position, I think that's when it's really hard. I don't know, you hit with this earlier. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I felt like the ball would either fly or I would kind of decelerate and drop short. It's yeah. Hard to find a rhythm. Yeah, this is definitely like not for everybody. It, I think it, it takes like a certain type of yeah. player to use this, right? Like Med's strokes are kind of different. He's had, he has these lanky strokes. Right, and he somehow pulls this racket through, but I don't know, he's been losing with this racket, honestly. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's just playing with it for the color, but... Yeah, dude, he hasn't been doing well, maybe it's the racket, I don't know. Fed ball, it felt great. If you can get this through, it feels really good, but... I feel like all the intangibles, it's just not really my style, so... I'm gonna stick, I think I'm gonna stick with the other racket, but we'll, we'll hit some serves, and let's see, let's see how it is. So for those that don't know, my main racket is the TF4305. I think it was really important to compare the T-Fight with the TF40 because on paper their specs are all very similar. The only differences being the beam thickness, the um, string pattern, and the swing weight, which is because of the, the beam thickness, I'm, I'm assuming. But I think the main difference between these two rackets is that the TF40 is a lot more maneuverable and a lot quicker of a racket. You can accelerate it a lot faster uh, even when you're late or when you're not balanced and you can get more whip and shape on the ball. But the TF, I mean the T-Fight definitely 
holds its um, stability through the ball better just because of the heavier swing weight and it carries through your ball a lot more. So for me, I really like to shape the ball. I like to put spins on the ball, um, slices, and do quick things with my hands when I when I'm playing points so I really prefer the TF40 I think that fits my swing a lot more plus my swing has more whip um, if I didn't already mention that before and I still feel like I can hit the ball hit through the ball and not be late with this racket for the TF40 the specs are actually like identical uh, both 10.7 ounces both of them um, same sized but the frame is the same size. Basically everything's identical. Three point, I think it's three point headlight. So, but for some reason the swing weight on this is 10 more than this. And I didn't think it would be that different until I actually played with it. And during points, when I had to do stuff like quick stuff with my hands and feel, I just found myself late all the time. Maybe because I played with this too long. Um, when I was feeding, when Ian was feeding me balls earlier, I was hitting fine because I felt like I had a lot of time because they're fed balls a little bit different but when I did get tired it was really hard to swing this um, with this one right after using this I basically hit everything early because I was used to the swing weight of this but I think overall I would use this in a match if my life depended on it and I wouldn't recommend this to especially casual players if, if the ball is slow it's fine if you're really confident in um, how fast you can get the racket through this might not be bad but for me i felt like every time i was off the ball would just go way long because of how much weight how much swing weight there was on this racket i just like how this one looks so much more just because it's all white but i think in a match i'm gonna have to choose this but i'm gonna do some volleys with both i'm gonna serve with both and then we'll see uh, what the final verdict is so for volleys with the T-Fight, I felt really good because the racket frame is very solid. I would say as long as you are able to get the racket in position, so the initial reaction is what I'm worried about. If someone's blasting a ball at me, will I be able to get this racket into the place I want before I step into volley? The other thing would, I guess this would happen more in doubles, would be if you got into a volley-volley exchange and you had to be really quick with it. I feel like this racket maybe is a little too heavy to be really good at volley exchanges, but if you're just good at volley exchanges, you could probably make it work, but there are definitely better rackets that suit that type of um, function a lot better. The one thing I really do like is when, no matter how hard the ball is, it hits the frame, the frame is not gonna move a lot, so. I felt that every volley I hit on the strings were really, really solid. Um, I think my volley forms are both very compact and pretty consistent, so I could make this work really well. I'm just afraid that in a match I might not have as much time Actually, to get, get the it. racket where I need it to be. Alright, so on the volleys, this is actually pretty solid because I think the beam is a little bit thicker than the other one. So as long as you get your racket there prepared, it's a really solid feeling. And I would say when you keep it still, the sweet spot is not bad. Um, the, the problem I have with this on the ground strokes is different from the volley because when once you get this going, I feel like the second you miss hit, you're, it's really easy to go, really easy to go long. It's really hard to come over the ball when you want to. But on the volley, because you're not swinging and you're just keeping it here, and it is a pretty solid racket the swing weight is like pretty high you're able to keep the racket there when you hit the ball it's always a really good feeling on the slice it actually felt really really good because the slice is one of the shots where i don't want my racket head to be affected by the ball at all because the slice is a timing and smoothness type of shot the more fluid you can be through this the better the shot quality will be. The only issue is when I had to hit an emergency slice or like 
a slice that I'm just not preparing far in advance to hit. I found it hard to maneuver my racket in a way I wanted because of the swing weight. Would you say it's hard to slice and drop shot? Or? Um, I think initially slicing, like when I'm prepared to slice, I'm able to slice. But when I'm hitting those like emergency slices, it's it's really hard to like get this going. Like I felt like, especially in my match, I would hit so many of them late. Whereas on the other ones, like with my other racket, maybe because I'm already used to it, like even if I was going backwards, I could still slice. Whereas this, I was really struggling to get it through. But if I get it out in front, the slice cuts pretty well. The only thing I'm afraid of is my slice tends to go long if I don't hit it perfect because just because of the swing weight. So the more thing. time you have, the better? The yeah. All right, so I think for serving, the T fight actually has quite a bit of potential to hit very very hard because of just how much like weight there is if you can time your snap and really use the racket to go through the ball um, you can get a lot of power on the serve it's just that the serve is one of the one of the shots where you control all the time you control the timing the toss everything by yourself so you don't ever have to worry about being late with it in my case, I think I'm just not used to how heavy it is. And plus, I don't do much serving, so um, when I try to accelerate, I'm usually pretty late, especially with the heavier racket. But I think if you contact it really well and have just have good timing with it, you can, you can crack it. The one thing is that it does make it a little bit harder to shape kick serves and slices. I feel like when I was using the TF40, I just had so much more shape on the ball. So I have a feeling that with this racket, the best way to go is to just really relax. If you're able to stay relaxed and get a lot of leverage, make contact really high, um, you're gonna be able to really bomb some serves with this. For me, I really focus a little bit more on my arm swing and wrist snap. So I don't think I'm really the right person to use this racket on the serve just because it's hard for me to get power with it. My toss is not very consistent at all right now. So I just don't feel good serving with it. I switched rackets in the middle with Ian and I just felt so much better serving with a TF40 just because I felt like I was strong enough to get the racket moving and the snap timing was easier because the TF40 when you snap compared to the T fight it'll start quicker like your snap will just kind of come right at the time that you want it to with the T fight you snap and then it takes a little bit for the racket to actually get there but there's so much weight that if you if you can just time it right, um, there will be a lot of power. One of the things I'm thinking is that Medvedev is like 6'6", six, six, and he doesn't really... Yeah, he already has a lot of leverage, so as long as he times it, and he has a pretty loose um, service, t service stroke as well, so as long as he times it well, he can just kind of crash it straight down into the court. And I think that works for him. Okay, so we just hit serves. And I think both of us can agree that it was just easier to serve with the TF40 just because like it's it's more maneuverable. And you can just, you have a little more um, feel with like the snap and like the little intricate motions. Um, yeah, with yeah, we were talking about Medvedev serve, but he's like six foot six, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't need, he can get angle a lot easier than we can. 
really like I feel like I need to hit the ball perfect every time to get it in here with this whereas like with this I can shape the ball a little more just because there's more control on this snap I feel like I was kind of late with this one yeah I was Not late much. too yeah. um I was I hit a lot of surf long with this in a match and then when I try to adjust the tip comes through so early because of the swing weight so I, I end up hitting a lot of them in the net. It's really hard to get like an in-between. Um, so honestly, like I'm not trying to hate on this racket, but it's just really hard to use in situations where where you're not perfectly just like in position and you have a really nice flow to it. I think I, you have to have a certain preference to, to want to use this racket. Yeah, you move closer. Yeah. And bite me. But yeah, I definitely agree with that. And I mean, I guess if you're like, the, the thing with these rackets, um, with Medvedev, like most pros use headlight rackets. And this racket is more towards even than like any other pro racket, mm -hmm. right? Like like the pro staff, the, um, the blades, um, what else? Like the bad light rackets, they're all, they're all more headlight than this. Like this probably feels, yeah, like the gravity use. Mm -hmm. You used yeah, to use the gravity. gravity and yeah. And the Yonexes, yeah, they're all more headlight. They all feel more headlight yeah. when you swing. So it's more maneuverable, actually, than this is. But this one actually goes through the air quite quick. I wouldn't say it's like hard to hit touchdowns with or to like speed up. I would just say it's kind of weird because they have like identical specs, but that one feels a lot different. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, even this one compared to other rackets, it's more balanced. Like when people use this for the first time, they feel kind of weird with it too. But it took me maybe, it took me like, I don't know, a couple of shots to get used to this. And I played with that for like a week and I still felt terrible, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Um, the best I felt was like one time I was hitting down the middle and just now when Ian was beating to me. And I had plenty of time on all those balls. So so that that's just kind of, that's my feeling. Um, I'm not gonna go super deep into like what every spec means. I don't even really know the, the technology between these two, but that doesn't really matter to me. It's just how the racket feels to me. So let's talk about like when you hit, well actually when you hit the middle, both of them absorb vibration pretty well. It's just, I think this one has a bigger sweet spot and it's easier to hit the sweet spot because it's easier to maneuver with this. This one does give a lot of power. I send so many balls long, um, but it's hard for me to get good shape on this because the racket just, the racket does what it wants to do. It doesn't let me control it as much. But I mean, I always say you should let the racket do, do work, but I don't know, for me, it, this is a little too much. Especially when the ball is low and I'm trying to whip it, get it back down in the court. I don't feel that confident with this racket. Um, there's a lot of potential here, but it's kind of like the pro staff. It's like a hard, or the RF pro staff. It's a harder version to use than this one, honestly. Oh, but the one thing is this, the string pattern's different though. This oh, one's 18 by 19, this one's 18 by 20. Oh. Yeah. But I don't, I mean, honestly, when you hit the middle, the, the feel is like the vibration is pretty much the same. This one just hits longer. Yeah. So. If you can control this one though, it's, it's really good, I think. Yeah, if you, well, if, I think if you hit a little flatter mm -hmm. and you like, you like to whack the ball more, yeah. like without as much shape, I think it's a better racket for you. It's not like Medvedev. Yeah, like Medvedev literally like hits so flat every single shot. Yeah, when I try to lift, I, I sometimes it just it just doesn't go. It's hard to time with a really spinning stroke, I think. So yeah, because it's balanced too. It's not like it's not headlight, so you're not getting as much maneuverability on it. Um, yeah, I guess I don't know. We'll see how many people end up using this racket. I feel like nobody, no one else uses this. Racket. I think some kid that won Kalamazoo is using this, or not. I don't know. Not 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 learning. No, no, this one. Some really, some really good player was using this. I don't remember who though. But yeah, yeah. So for those that, I, I see a lot of good reviews for the for the T fight. Um, I don't know who they're from, but we'll see. Like, I don't know what level player these people are, but I think at a, I don't know, 
it's a very specific racket, so that's all I have to say. Anyway, have a good one. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Peace out. Bye. -bye.